my name is Colin and I'm from HDCCTV. In this video I'm going to run through how to get your, your new IP camera working and also how to uh, connect up to your PoE injector or your PoE power box and I'll also run through uh, how it's all connected together and also wireless wire-free home plug solutions. Okay, so let's have a look at how you would wire together a single camera PoE system. This would be one camera, one PoE injector and, uh, and that would be it for the system. If you bought a two camera system or a three camera system, you would get three single injectors. When you go to four cameras or more, you will then um, have one four-way injector, and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so how to wire together a single PoE camera to a single injector. So this is the camera. On here you have two ports. You have a network port and a DC one, a power one. The power one you can forget. This is because the power is going to come down this cable. Okay, so you would then connect your long Ethernet cable, the plug and play cable you, you can get with the camera. This comes in uh, three 10 and 30 meter ready-made cables. So you plug that in here, click. Other end of that cable would go into this end of the uh, injector, one with a single socket on it. It says Ethernet and DC. So you click that in there. And then this end of this, uh, this box would be the power supply for the, the box. So that would click into there put it the right way around and then we've got one socket left which is this one here which goes from another cable and that would go into your network connection this can go direct into your router your broadband box uh, a network point or if you if you want to use a wire free system you would use a what's called a home plug this is a home plug they come in pairs uh, what you would do you plug this cable into the bottom of this plug You'd have another one of these near your router, another cable coming out of that, the other plug into your router, and that's it, a wire-free wire connection is made. So that's it, that's the camera plugged into the long lead, the long lead coming into the injector, the injector's powered up, and the, the network cable and signal is going from here into the router. If you buy a four-way system from us, you would have a slightly different system with the PoE boxes, you would have one multiple port um, box. So wiring, again, very simple. Uh, the network, long network cable goes into the camera. The other end of this cable would go into one of these four ports on the left-hand side. There's an orange line around these ports, and in the corner it says PoE. These are the powered ports you should use. So again, you just click that into place, and then you would add the other three cameras into these places here. Now you've got four more ports available here, one of which needs to be connected to the network, so just use the, the, uh, another network cable into there and the other end would go into the network connection of your router or again if you were doing a Wi-Fi installation you would plug it into the bottom of this the other end would be the router receiving this data. So that would be a system for a four-way uh, camera system. If you had an eight-way system what you'd receive is two of these boxes and an extra 30 meter lead to link the box either into this first box or straight to the router. So this allows you to uh, install say four cameras at one end of the building and have one cable back to the, to the uh, router and the other four could be over here and then another cable back. Earlier I mentioned the home plug system I showed you the blue box. So this, is, this is what they actually are. So it looks like a, a mains adapter. Uh, this is available with and without this main socket on the back. You may not need it but it also keeps your, your socket free. So what happens is this would go uh, with a network connection somewhere near a uh, your broadband router. So one wire from there into your router, and that's, that's plugged in the wall. The, uh, the other end of this connection would be another one of these. Now this can be a camera, it can be a recorder, it can be a PoE box with multiple cameras plugged into it. Anything at all can plug into this, any network unit, and you plug a wire into there. So I showed you earlier the four-way system. You would have the four-way PoE box having one cable coming out of that going into this one here sending the signal down through the electricity to this other box and then that would be received at the router and uh, that's the connection complete. You can also have multiple um, models of this unit, as long as you've got one here by the router you can have a dozen of these all sending separate data feeds back to this, this one here. So you can have one by each camera for example or sending wirelessly back to this, this receiver unit here. Okay, so that's the IP system all wired and powered. We've got the PoE injector or the PoE box unit powering the system. We've got a connection from the PoE box into the, uh, the router somehow, whether it's wired directly or via a, a home plug system. Now we need to get the software installed and have the, uh, the cameras configured. So in each camera box or each recorder box is a small CD-ROM. 
this one here. Now these are these are not suitable for slot loading computers, so if you have one of those, please download the file from the download page of our website. Right, okay, so we've inserted the CD-ROM into the computer. This is the uh, the folder with all the bits and pieces in. Now what we need to do is find out um, a couple of bits of information about the network we're going to connect this camera to. So we need to find out what the router and the gateway IP address is. We need to find out what available IP addresses there are on the network. And then we need to set the camera up on the network. So the first thing we're going to do is try and find out the router IP address before we uh, go into the camera software. So we do this by going to a Windows computer, clicking on the start button and typing in the word command. This brings up the option of command prompt, which opens a little black window. There we go. So once you're into that window, you type in the word ipconfig, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, and then hit return. Okay, so on this page is the information you need, default gateway 10.0.0.1. So that's a bit of information you need from that box there. So if you make a note of your default gateway, it might be that, it might be 192.168 something, it could be anything at all. So just make a note of that number. We'll come back to that in a second. Okay, close the window down. Next thing we need to know is what other devices are on the network and what available IP addresses are there. Now there is a great little online tool called Advanced IP Scanner, which will tell you exactly that. So in Google, just type in Advanced IP Scanner, and it'll bring up this web page here, advanced-ipscanner.com. So click on that, click on Download, and then click on Run. Let the software install itself. Uh, you can use the portable version if you don't want to install the whole bit, the whole software. Accept the agreement and click run. Okay, so there's the uh, application. Let's hit the scan button and this will now scan the network for any available IP addresses and any, any devices on the network. Okay, so there we go. There we go. There's all the, the devices on our network. And we can see we've got uh, devices up to about 33. So we know we can put our, our camera 34 or, or above. Okay, so there we go. So that's, that's what's on the network. And we know we can go anything above 33. Okay, so now we go back to the CD-ROM that came with the camera. This is the uh, contents of the disk. If you go to Tool and then IP search tool. You can then run the setup um, software for the camera. So device manager tool is the software. Double click that and you then get a window here. If you click on the discovery button. This then shows you all of the X-Vision equipment on the network. Obviously if you just bought one camera you'll only have the one IP address showing. We've got quite a few in our showroom which are all shown here. So the one we want to pay attention to at the moment is the one that's different to all the rest. This one here. As you can see the uh, the default gateway is 192.168.11 and the default IP address is 192.168.1.188. So we need to get that set up on our system. Um, from the screen we saw earlier, the black screen, we saw that the, the, the gateway was 10.0.0.1. So let's, uh, let's adjust that one. So you highlight the one with the camera you want to uh, modify and then go to the bottom here and we'll put that to 10.0.0.1. And then from the advanced IP scanner application, we saw that 33 was in use, so we can put this one at 34. So it would be 10.0.0.34. And then click modify. And then when you click discovery again, it refreshes the screen and you can see we've now got the camera set at 34. Okay, so we'll go to a web browser now and enter the IP address we've given the camera which is 10.0.0.34 and hit enter and you'll see top left hand corner downloading ActiveX component please click here so click on that and then select run or save if you want to save it but click, click run to make it work that will then install the ActiveX component to your computer so next time you log in you won't have to do this so just follow the software uh, installation through to the end
And there we go, there's the software installed. Okay, now refresh the browser page and click on Submit, and that'll re-log you in. And then to bring the camera up live, you go to the top left-hand corner and click once on the camera icon itself. And that brings the, uh, the camera onto your screen in glorious high definition.